As the cogs churn and whirl on her Bernina sewing machine, she's at ease and in her happy place. You just know the wheels are turning in her head as she conjures up her next creation, fine-tuning an original work of art out of fabric. I want to try something challenging and I want to see what I can come up with. But my, my meat forte is the sewing machine rather than the paintbrush and I would like to, I would like to release that little painter girl out sometime. And to release that inner painter girl, Robbie perused the internet to identify the 10 most famous paintings to inspire her for this year's wearable art fashion show at the Campbell River Art Gallery. I like to be challenged, so I, I want to try some new techniques, and there's so many. We do so much more with fabric nowadays. We can manipulate it and change it and swish it and hang it and just do great things. The idea is for the model to extract this fibre interpretation of George O'Keefe's On the Lake right from the frame of the easel and wear it as a bodice. It's called Wears Art. <laughs> and I'm not sure how I spelt the wears. I, I'm not sure if I spelled it W-H-E-R-E -E or W-E-A-R. But of course, the, it's a play on words anyway, so. George O'Keefe on top and Picasso's The Dream for the Skirt but it's how the wearable art moves on the human form that draws the attention. The fashion show features 14 originals with a broad appeal. I think it brings the community together in an unusual event. Um, it allows for fundraising, which it is a fundraiser for the art gallery, um, but it also opens up people's eyes to different ways in which uh, art can permeate our community. It combines craft, fine art, performance, theater, it's a little bit of everything. The audience, very often, it, once they've been to one, they might either decide, oh, they want to enter something, or they can hardly wait to sit in the audience and just see what's been produced. This year marks the fourth annual wearable art and fashion show. For more information, you can visit this website. In Campbell River, I'm Marjorie Greaves.